Well, your air conditioners have probably been running nonstop these last few weeks, and the temps are staying toasty. Big Mountain wants to help homeowners keep cool indoors all summer long. And here with more on their services, we have Varen Larson. Hey, Varen, thanks for joining us. Hey, hi again, Aubrey. What are common problems um, that would let you know that you're having some air conditioner breakdown at your house? Well, as you can see there, uh, and you've heard me say this before, the biggest, uh, you know, your air conditioner moves more dirt than the uh, than your, in, your vacuum cleaner does on an annual basis. You can see the dirt and all of the situations in an air conditioning system that it impacts the outdoor coil, your filter, uh, it gets into that area that you can see uh, that's connected to your furnace, the air all goes through. Uh, all these things cause real havoc with the heating and air conditioning system. And uh, not to mention all of the uh, problems with the quality of the air that you're breathing every day that you're running your air conditioner, because that's that, for instance, right there, you can see that. Yeah, so dirt, it's the number one culprit. That's what it sounds like. Now, what are some of the signs that homeowners need to be on the lookout for um, when they're thinking things aren't working quite right? Maybe my air conditioner is breaking down. Well, as you can see, and this, this is something that a lot of folks are gonna be familiar with. You can see this little PVC tube coming out of the uh, house, and it's probably draining into a flower bed, and uh, uh, that is connected to your air conditioner up in your attic for most people, and you'll see this uh, pan here if it doesn't make sense to you the picture. That's how filthy, dirty the water gets, and it can, it can clog, clog up that PVC pipe and if it clogs up that PVC pipe, then the next thing that happens is something like that. Wow. I just talked to today that had this particular problem going on in the house, wanting to know what he could do, and so we're, we're going out there to help him out. And, hey, uh, Varen, is it a good idea to have an expert come and service your air conditioner, and how often does it need to be serviced? Absolutely. Twice a year. Uh, sometimes it gets a little uh, pricey for some folks if they don't take advantage of some of the specials that we bring to your California life. For instance, there's a technician you just saw working on a furnace. Here's the technician working on the air conditioner. For the uh, YCL uh, uh, viewers, we give you a special price. We do them both. We guarantee both against breakdown all year long if the service is free. So uh, to answer your question, you don't want to be doing that stuff yourself. You can do a few of the minor things, but when it comes you just don't know some of the other stuff that needs to be done and be looked out for uh, if you don't call an expert. Yeah, sometimes we need that expert to make sure it's getting done right. So I know you said, Big Mountain, you guys always give us a special service price for our viewers. Um, tell us a little bit more about that offer. Yeah, but we do limit it to 10 folks. The first 10 callers at that number, 378-4664, that you see on the screen there. Give us a call, even in the middle of summer, we'll get you on the schedule, but we do limit it because uh, we're really investing in you, the homeowner, to gain you as a customer for life. Because it really costs us more than that, but it's not a sales gift. It's a service that we'll spend two to three hours proving to you that we're different. And uh, so take advantage, folks, if you can, and uh, give that number a call, we'll get you on the schedule. Sounds good, Darren. Thanks so much for filling us in and uh, stay cool out there. For more information, visit BigMountainAir.com. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.